Trimtech Intelligent Substation Design. The smart wire object is one of our most important objects in Primtech. You can quick and easily configure a wire connection, including the connectors, including the SAC. You can define a wire curve. You can configure the number of subconductors and the subconductor distance. In some cases it is required that you need a more natural curve, though for this we do invent the advanced mode for a wire. You switch the wire object to advanced mode and after this now you can manipulate the beginning angle and the end, end angle of the wire connection. In this example now we make a new wire connection between two connectors. So I select the connecting point on connector 1 and the connecting point on connector 2. I define uh, a straight up horizontal curve. You see the preview on the right side. I define a SAC, a double conductor in distance 200. And OK, now the wire connection is configured. Here we are. Now the curve is not looking very natural, so I want to use advanced wire mode to manipulate the curve on a better way. I switch the curve to advanced wire mode. Now it's possible to manipulate the starting angle and the ending angle in each possible direction. I select the second point on the connector and now I want to insert additional control points. You see on the control point I can move the wire curve in each direction. So I add two new control points. I take the control points and start now to design a perfect realistic looking wire curve based on the simple configuration I made before. In this example, we use advanced mode to overwork the conductors which are automatically generated by the OSR conductor recognition module. You see here, I just pick up the control points and move them to the laser scan points of the point cloud. I go here now to a dropper. You see the dropper is not 100% precise following the points. So I switch it to advanced mode. I start to manipulate the starting angle. I use uh, laser points on the insulators to define the starting angle. And then I use the control point, just move it to the points from the point cloud. I manipulate now the ending angle. And you see here, I need additional control point, move it to the point cloud and here we are. 